Hi there. It is uh, Thursday. It is the 15th of October. Where the hell is this year gone? Um, it is journal 386, T plus 572. Um, and, and this is not what I was going to record tonight, once again. Uh, I've been stuck. And, uh, and it's interesting. Uh, in Chip and Dan Heath's book, Switch, How to Change When Change is Hard, they use an incredible metaphor. They talk about the elephant and the rider. And the rider is your rational brain. It's your frontal cortex. It's your, it, it's your um, ability to communicate. It is, it is who you think you are and what you're all about. The elephant, on the other hand, is your subconscious. It's your amygdala. It's your, uh, it's your emotional brain, your prehistoric brain. Uh, the brain that took us out of the ooze and uh, kept us alive. It's focused on fight, flight, fear, uh, reproduction, physiological needs, and not much else. Incapable of language incapable of communication, incapable of thought. It's raw emotion. And the way they, they explain the metaphor is really simple. Uh, unless you create a clear, obvious path for the amygdala, amygdala, for the subconscious, the elephant's going wherever the elephant wants to go. And uh, it doesn't matter where you want to go. It doesn't matter how rational your, your need to go there is. It's irrelevant. It doesn't make any difference. And that's what I've been fighting for the last few days. It's what I've been fighting for the last number of weeks, really, uh, almost two months. When I first uh, went into the hospital on August the 30th, the evening of August the 30th, I was hospitalized that night, the following day, the following morning. Um, they noticed there was a nodule, a node, on the upper portion of my left lung. Um, they didn't seem terribly concerned about it. Uh, and decided to take a wet and see attitude, which is easy for them to do because it's my lung. But anyway, they did that anyway. And uh, the good news is that they didn't seem alarmed. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, the rider in me was okay with that. Um, the elephant, on the other hand, was having problems with it because there was a definite threat there. Uh, I have a very, very strong philosophy about um, those things that I can see and feel and, and experience. Um, I don't have a problem with them. I can deal with them. I know what they are. It, it's consistent with my philosophy that pain is good. Pain helps you identify what's going on in your body and what you should know about. Um, it's the things that you don't know about that give you night sweats. It's the things that you don't know about that keep you up at night. And unfortunately, uh, not knowing is one of those things. It was decided that I would ultimately go for um, imaging at some time after that. You know, through those three hospitalizations, that node kept appearing on all the x-rays. There were lots of x-rays and lots of images that were taken with the same basic instruction from the doctors, don't worry about this too much. It's probably nothing, probably due to the inflammation from the pleurisy, from the pneumonia, from the pericarditis, from all of the above. Um, when you start to recover, we'll worry about the imaging. Well, that's easier said than done in most cases, because fear is an incredibly powerful motivator. Um, it's the elephant, or at least a big part of the elephant. So as you might imagine, for the last couple of months, month and a half, I've been sitting on that information. And uh, my appointment for a fluorodexaglucose uh, PET scan, um, positron emission tomography, PET, uh, was yesterday. And up until that, uh, you can imagine I was a mess and couldn't think about much else. And if I'd been absent, that's probably one of the reasons. 
it's hard to think about um, all of the other things that you really like to talk about, that you want to talk about, that you need to talk about, that you have to talk about, that are worth sharing, or at least worth sharing, in my opinion, and worth sharing, hopefully, in yours as well, um, becomes really difficult because it's hard to push that fear out of your mind. The good news is that both the, the echocardiogram that I was scheduled for yesterday and the PET scan, the results have come back um, negative in the respect that there was not measurable fluid surrounding the heart between the pericardium and the myocardium. And uh, the PET scan results came back negative, which my uh, pulmonologist, Dr. Naragi at Sears, God bless him, was kind enough to call and share last night rather than have me wait until I see him on uh, next uh, next Wednesday, I think, the 21st. Um, or 20, I think it's the 21st, 24th, whatever Wednesday is. Um, and, and spared me that, you know, torment of living with that fear for that long. The, the good news is that now that I've taken a day to recognize um, that sense of relief that was provided by that in simple information, uh, I can go back to doing what I originally planned to do, and that's talk about all these other things. And, and I'm excited to do that. But there's a lot to be said for relief, just as there's a lot to be said for fear and how you handle it. No matter what it is, I don't think you can allow it to cripple you. Um, it will try. It's an elephant after all. It's powerful. It's big. It's um, almost uncontrollable. But that doesn't mean that you have to give in to it. Um, I tried really hard not to, valiantly not to. So uh, if you have an opportunity to substitute relief for fear, do it. Um, it'll help you with the things that you can't talk about until you do. They aren't things that you won't talk about, just things that you can't. Until the next time, stay well, stay focused, stay home, uh, stay careful, stay positive, take care. Bye-bye.